Hello, I'm Lucas Gonzalez. An advocate says voting by mail is still inaccessible to many Hoosiers. You have to check one of those reasons. Um, and then you need to provide either your driver's license number or the last four of your social security number. Um, and if you don't have one of those, then you have to call the clerk's office and get your voter ID number. To vote by mail, Hoosiers must meet one of 11 different criteria, such as being 65 or older or being confined to their home. Hoosiers can register to vote by mail on indianavoters.in.gov. The voter registration deadline is April 8th. Comcast is donating 100 laptops to Bloomington residents. It's part of the company's 10-year, $1 billion pledge to advance programs and community partnerships that connect people to the internet. United Way of South Central Indiana and Bloomington Parks and Rec selected the recipients. Residents can pick up their laptops starting tomorrow at 4 p.m. at the Banneker Community Center. And Monroe County wants residents to gather data on their connection speed at home. One official says the FCC's high-speed internet map is inaccurate. It's kind of uh, negating any other location that, you know, maybe isn't getting that high-quality internet speed that the internet providers are, are claiming to, to provide. Data will determine which areas get federal money for broadband projects. Weather tonight, thunderstorms and a low of 62 degrees. And looking at the week ahead, thunderstorms continue tomorrow. We'll get some rain on Wednesday with temperatures decreasing to the 40s. Showers on Thursday and then sunny again Friday and Saturday. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6 p.m.